Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose A and B are real numbers. If A is greater than or equal to B, and A is less than or equal to B, then A is equal to B. Now in this series, we are using a list of 10 axioms for the real number system. And I'll leave that list of axioms in the description below. Now, in our real number system, the real numbers are equipped with a subset which we call the set of positive real numbers. And it's denoted as R plus. Now, our definition of greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to are as follows. Suppose A and B are real numbers. We say A is greater than B, if a minus b is a positive real number. We say a is less than b if b is greater than a. We say a is greater than or equal to b if a is greater than b or a is equal to b. And we say a is less than or equal to b if b is greater than or equal to a. Now a consequence that immediately follows from these definitions is to say a is less than or equal to b is equivalent to saying a is less than b or a is equal to b. And to see how, well, first of all, by definition of less than or equal to, to say that A is less than or equal to B is equivalent to saying B is greater than or equal to A. And then by definition of greater than or equal to, to say that B is greater than or equal to A is equivalent to saying B is greater than A or B is equal to A. But then by definition of less than, to say that B is greater than A is equivalent to saying A is less than B and of course to say b is equal to a is equivalent to saying a is equal to b. So if we replace these two statements with their equivalences, we have that these two statements are equivalent to each other. So as you can see, we have a is less than or equal to b is equivalent to saying a is less than b or a is equal to b. Now at this point, we have proven the trichotomy law which says the following. Suppose A and B are real numbers. Then exactly one of the following is true. A is greater than B, A equals B, or A is less than B. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. Now we're trying to prove if A is greater than or equal to B and A is less than or equal to B, then A is equal to B. And to prove that, Suppose a is greater than or equal to b, and a is less than or equal to b. From here, the whole goal is to show that a is equal to b. Now, by definition of greater than or equal to, since a is greater than or equal to b, we have a is greater than b, or a is equal to b. And then, by star, since a is less than or equal to b, we have a is less than b, or a is equal to b. Now remember, the whole goal is to show that a is equal to b. And to show that, assume for a contradiction, we instead have that a is not equal to b. Now, since a is greater than b, or a is equal to b, but a is not equal to b, well that eliminates the possibility that this is true. So we must have that a is greater than b. And also, since a is less than b or a is equal to b, but a is not equal to b, then that eliminates the possibility that this is true. So we must have that a is less than b. And so we have both a is greater than b and a is less than b. But that contradicts the trichotomy law, which says that exactly one of these must be true. Our assumption that A is not equal to B led us to a contradiction. So we must instead have that A is equal to B. And so we have shown if A is greater than or equal to B and A is less than or equal to B, then A is equal to B. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And 
right, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.